year ago I did the Resurrection Remix Nougat bass drum video on Redmi Note 3 and that video is fortunately the most viewed video of this channel and today after so much waiting we have the official Resurrection Remix based on Android Oreo for Redmi Note 3. So without further any more delay let's make it happen and yeah this is Tito from KDN Tech so let's just do it. So first of all you need to download the ROM from this XGA thread. All the important links for this ROM, GApps and other stuff is below in the description so do not worry. Things you need to do is download them in your storage. You need to have officially unlocked bootloader and official TWRP recovery installed and make sure you are doing it on your own risk. So as you can see I am on bootleggers ROM right now. So let's put the phone into TWRP recovery. As you can see, I am using official TWRP 3.2.1.0 here. Now go to wipe, now advanced wipe, as usual wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Once done, go back, go back. Now hit install, now locate the ROM and gapps file. Select them and swipe to confirm flash. Note that you will get error 7 if you flash it with older even official TWRP recoveries. So make sure you are using official latest TWRP recovery. Once the flashing is done, hit reboot system and wait for the time being. Here is the amazing fresh and new boot animation of Resurrection Remix. Note that first boot can take 4 to 5 minutes, so do not worry. So as we are booted up into the system, let me complete the setup process. Here we have the trebuchet launcher as default launcher. I will be using the modded pixel launcher later anyway. Let me increase the brightness. And the wallpaper here is from Pixie Wall app. Here is the quick settings panel of this ROM. First let me disable heads up. Here are some more quick toggles. We have live display over here. I don't know yet if it works or not. Here we have screenshot option. Here is the stock launcher settings. Now let me jump right into about section of this ROM. On top we have Resurrection Remix version. Tapping on it doesn't do anything as you can see. Of course running on Android 8.1 Oreo with latest February 5th 2018 security patch. The stock kernel of this ROM is Dominator kernel as you can see. So now let's go back in gestures. We have double tap the power button to quickly launch the camera option over here. Now let's go back and jump into display settings. We have the live display settings over here. Now let's see if it works or not. And as you can see it does not work as of now. Now let's go back into configuration option where all the customizations of Resurrection Remix are. First of all, in status bar, we have clock and date customizations. From here, you can change the position of the clock to center or basically any side, change the AMPM size or even adjust the font size, hell, even change the font type to bold, italic or whatever and enable date like this if you want to. Here we have network traffic if you want that. Here we have notification ticker. Next you can customize or enable battery bar and other things from here. After that we have status bar weather if you want that. Next you can enable Resurrection Remix logo like this. You can set even custom logos if you want to. Here you can select some specific system icons like Vault E, 4G etc. In status bar gestures, we have slide a finger to control the brightness and double tap to sleep, which works fine. Next, we have carrier level and in system UI tuner option, you can enable bunch of stuff like I will enable the headset icon over here. Moving on, we have panels. From here, you can set custom header image on the quick settings panel like this. But I don't want that so I'm gonna disable it. Next we have volume panels customizations. 
After that, we have power menu customizations. Make sure you crank up the power or reboot menu opacity to 100%, otherwise you can't see it if it's on 0%. After that, we have some amount of notification customization. Moving on to quick settings panel, you can enable quick pull down and smart pull down. Customize each column and row numbers. And scroll through small quick setting tiles like this. Pretty interesting stuff. In advanced, you have easy tile adding option and you can enable vibrate while touching quick tiles if you want to. Moving on, next we have recents. Here you can enable clear all button like this. As you can see, you can even change the clear all button logo like this. I like this Resurrection Remix logo over here. Now let's go back. From General UI, you can enable to show memory bar in Recents like this which shows the available RAM status. You can enable Slim Recents if you want that. Moving on to Interface, here you can set some fingerprint options like which only asks fingerprint even after rebooting the phone you do not have to enter the pin. Next we have some blur options. From here you can customize the display size and even change the DPI. Next we have heads up, dashboard, again volume control panel and some sound related customizations. Next we have theming but I do not see it working, I don't know if it works or not. Here we have expanded desktop option if you are into that. From call, you can enable vibrate on connect and stuff. From here, you have screenshot option. You can set it to take full or partial screenshot. In MISC, the most important thing for me here is three finger swipe to take a screenshot option, which works fine as you can see. Next, we have lock screen customization options. In security, you have a bunch of stuff like quick unlock advanced reboot, etc. In lock UI, you have battery info, notification count, clock, date, alarm widget. Next, you can add weather provider if you want to on the lock screen. From here, you can add bottom or mid screen app shortcuts on the lock screen if you want to. Next up is buttons. From hardware keys, you can customize the hardware button actions. For the home, back and menu keys, do note that you have to manually set the home button long press action for Google Assistant if you want that. Here we have power button option and long press for torch option. Next up we have navigation. From here you can enable and customize software buttons if you want to. Next, we have animations. From here, you can customize animations of the whole UI like crazy. You can even change the screen locking animation if you want to. Crazy amount of animations and customizations. This is why Resurrection Remix is called the king of customizations. Next, we have gestures. You can create and customize each action and even you can enable app circle bar or pie control from here if you want to. In miscellaneous we have suspend apps and weather and that's it. Now let me set up the face unlock to see if the instant face unlock works or not. As you can see no instant unlocking does not work here. You have to unlock the screen manually after your face is matched. Maybe we will see that in future updates. Here is an example of Geo4G Vault E works fine. Now let me take a quick picture over here with stock google camera app. Here is the picture. Now let me click a portrait selfie with the GC Mod 5 app. And as you can see it works fine. 
If you want to know how to install it, here is a card. Now let me take a quick picture again with GC Mod 5 with HDR Plus Enhanced Mode. Here is the picture, looks great to me. Here are the benchmark scores for this ROM. I got a whopping 1 lakh score in N22. Here is how the charging stats looks like in the lock screen. Now let me open up a few apps for the RAM management round and in the meantime let's talk about the ROM. Well as it's a first build I am super impressed because everything works super fine over here like camera, Volte, Wi-Fi, 4G data, torch, 4K video recording, fingerprint scanner, pretty much everything works fine. The ROM is super smooth all over the UI and I am really happy to see Resurrection Remix back with Oreo. I will talk about the battery life later on Twitter so do follow me there from the descriptions. As you can see the RAM management is pretty good on this ROM as all the apps were running in the background. Pretty awesome stuff. All I want to say is thank you to all the developers for making it happen for our beloved Redmi Note 3. So that wraps up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and we just crossed 2000 subscribers mark. So huge shout out to you guys. Thank you so much guys for supporting me and if you haven't subscribed yet just subscribe to the channel right here please. So this is Tito signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.